Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how does it feel to be a citizen? <laughs> Must have changed up how the ceremony works. I just raised my hand and said, sure, I'm in. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. Well, eight. They went extinct a few decades back. A big lumbering thing called an Aceles. Something I'd love to learn more about, if we had the people to look into it. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? Well, Kaiser's one of a kind. Special built for the sort of work we did. Dealing with unfriendly beasts in hostile environments. No other robot in the galaxy like him. So did you really manage to track him down? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? That's not funny. Seriously, how'd you find them? No. That's... that's insane. He died. They executed him. They... They faked his death? My entire unit, they threw us all to the wolves, but kept him? And now he's what? An advisor? Commanding the fleet in secret? What was so important that they had to keep him alive? I'm sure they did. They invested so much in him over the years. Even grew him an entire family he didn't want. Fey Victus. Alive? After all this time. So his execution was what? A lie? A cover-up? Incredible. Just incredible. I guess it makes sense, though, doesn't it? The UC of that era only created me because they were afraid of a world without Vey Victus in command. Why would they get rid of him? As long as I live, I'll never understand the loyalty that old bastard elicited. You've got nothing to apologize for. Because the UC, they did a lot of terrible things for that man. But even knowing they did, knowing that they kept him alive all this time, you know what I feel right now? It's hope. I had no one when I was outside the UC. No red devils, no family. But that old world, where I was no one and my father mattered, that's gone. Thanks to what you and I have done, I have a place again. A purpose. But it's finally one I can be proud of. You and I, we're getting to change what the UC stands for. So I don't care if Vevictus is alive or dead. He can rot for all I care. We're the ones who are making the settled systems and the UC better. Precisely. Because there's nothing we can do about past choices. What we can do is try and make the right ones now. So, let's get back to the business at hand. 
Now, my father just handing over the information on the research team and Kaiser out of the clear blue, I can't say I trust it. But if he has something to gain from helping us prevent Terramorph attacks, I'm not seeing it. So while you'll absolutely want to be cautious, what would you think about trying to bring back Kaiser? I'm honestly not sure what his endgame might be. Involving himself in preventing Terramorph attacks after all the damage he's done? Something doesn't add up. But he clearly understands how valuable it'd be to have Kaiser involved in this endeavor. So, I still think it'd be worth looking into. If you're willing. I think it's the right call. But if Kaiser has been out wandering on his own for all this time, you're gonna need a couple things. I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase, Nos belli magnis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? Oh, well, it's really not that daunting. So long as he's on a planet with some modicum of civilization, you should be able to cobble together most of what he might need. He is on a planet like that, right? Oh my god, are you talking about Nero? No wonder no one's found him. Xeno weapons are just the tip of the iceberg in that place. The environment's devastated. There's little, if any, real law. Nero's got more than enough ways to make any visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by gel. As good a place to start as any. The colony war saw a lot of hard fighting, but Nera got it the worst. Everything the Freestar Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. When the war finally ended, Swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there of all places, I can only guess at. Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into, detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent, they require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and wounded teammates. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. It is impossible to imagine what this looked like before the colony war. What a waste. Hey! New model on the floor! Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill. Proprietor.
Turn mechs into money, mostly. Plus selling equipment, information, and supplies to any short-term scrappers that want to take a shot at striking it rich out in the fields. Appreciate it. Took years to get this place self-sustaining. Plenty elbow grease and creativity. Can I get you started on a tab, then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits however you want to hike them over. Kaiser? No bot around here with that tag. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? Least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. Moby Dick? Old art story about one Captain Ahab chasing some big fish that's bound to get him killed? No? We all thought the name was a good fit since our bot friend was so damn busy chasing that siren of his. Quality slate, too. Think I got a copy for sale if you want to give it a look. Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons, but those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. That's where I recognize that insignia. Red Devils. Yeah, Ahab's definitely your bot. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him, maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this, Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I'm listening. <sighs> Is this really what we're doing? I do understand. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. You made your point. I'll give you a discount. Pleasure doing business with you. So, last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse, shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open, too. Sirens and ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh. And corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction, so now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best.
You thought you could evade me? What can I do for you? Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So, I just brace for a little sticker shock. Don't forget, whatever, all legal, I swear. Mission is the disarmament 
of Unit X W99. Designation Siren. Nearest final active Xeno weapon, 99, has proven a far more formidable adversary than its peers. Will you aid me with disarmament? During the Colony War, handling of Unit 99 and its peers were among my personal duties. Deploy Unit 99. Defend Unit 99 against hostile forces. But above all, ensure Unit 99 was never used against non-combatants. When I was separated from the Xeno Warfare team with the Armistice, Unit 99 and its broodmates remained here, causing many non-combatant deaths. So I am here to correct my mistake. I have nearly succeeded in disarming their brood. Only Unit 99 remains. Correct. Unit 99 is a siren, a deadly biological specimen deployed to Nera during the Colony War. Engineered for combat efficiency, execution of said specimens is the standard method of Xeno weapon disarmament. Technically, yes. All Xeno weapons have a control interface which allows them to be given orders. If Unit 99 were to be subdued, I could wipe its interface. This would prevent Unit 99 from ever being used as a weapon again. That would be technically sufficient for the parameters of my mission. However, it is my personal assessment that Nero would be better off with Unit 99 terminated. that is said about one man's junk? There is so much junk. It is difficult to recall how that goes. Hmm. I am detecting Unit 99. But there is a complication. Unit 99 is on the other side of that reach. But it appears to be under the control of hostile forces. Sensors suggest Ecliptic, a mercenary company like Ecliptic, would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? Simple and straightforward. A good choice. Moving out. Target confirmed. Kill protocols engaged. Systems
give up already. shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinian. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. 